I'm inside and I saw Brain Donors. It is directed by Dennis Duggan. Duggan? It's the guy who directed Grown Ups, Grown Ups 2, Jack and Jill. He partnered with a lot of Adam Sandler movies, apparently. I never heard of this movie before it was requested to me by somebody on Fansly. If you'd like to request a movie, you can go to this link tree right here. It's only $20 for one movie request. My previous exposure to this movie is none. This movie looked very goofy when I was watching it. But if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. The movie starts, we're looking at the inner workings of a ballet studio. More specifically, it looks like some director dude died and so we're gonna find out who's the new director. And I was like, okay, cool. This is the framing of this story, that's fine, and whatnot. But what are these three dudes doing here? They seem to be very dumb, just like navigating life. They seem to have a very hard time navigating life, but they are miraculously just able to exist without being hurt as like a bunch of slapsticky hijinky things happens around them they're just like their entire existence is just every like chaos around them and they're unharmed or if they are harmed it's like in a comedic way like why do these people exist and it's interesting to see these comedians i'm gonna say comedians because i know their professions are not comedians they're like it's like a lawyer and they got two other professions. The lawyer is the most important one because how could you be dumb being a lawyer? I mean, that's just like, I, I stopped right there when I heard his profession. When I looked at it and I was like, wait, hold on. How are you stupid? You're the, like the big old brain of the group and you're still stupid. How? how? All, there's just so much inner workings of ballet going on. What do these dumb people have to do with this interpersonal ballet performance? Oh, uh, these dumb people, these dumb three people are hearing about the ballet's need for some top honcho dancer and they're gonna hire this top honcho dancer. And so now they want to sabotage them but first they wanted to get hired Ooh, we can get lots of money but you guys already have jobs is that not your motivation what is your motivation for me this movie was unclear I wasn't uh, I was mighty confused about a lot of the plot details but I think my brain was going a little bit too much for this movie because there is a lot of slapstick humor and there's a lot of funny dialogue. Um, I'm not a dictionary. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a movie, so I'm not going to quote it to you. But uh, they, there are a lot of quotables that I laughed at. There's a lot of moments where I laughed at, especially at uh, the parts where they're on the scene. Well, by the way, when I talked about the sabotage, that's true. They trying to sabotage the ballet dancer while he's ballet dancing. And it's honestly a pretty hilarious bit. He's just like, they're flying over the stage. They're like being, they're adding actors and then also taking away actors. So he's like left stranded. They're like, what is going on? Just like sabotaging his performance. And I'm just like, why are you guys doing this for money? Well, how? I don't see, I don't see the financial gain in this, personally. So they do manage to successfully sabotage this ballet dancer, and looks like the ballet manager plot is sabotaged? I was unclear. I, I, I didn't really pick up on the subtleties of this plot, mainly because there wasn't really much plot for the hour and 20 minutes of this movie. It seemed like the first, I don't know, 10 minutes were plot, plus like some slapsticky humor, and then 10 minutes of plot again, more slapstick, 10 minutes again. It's like, okay, I understand, I recognize that this slaps humor, uh, slap, <laughs> slapstick humor, slapstick humor is well made. I can tell it's well made by the way that the, A, the sets are 
pretty intensive and I like the detail to the sets. And I like the amount of camera work because the cameras are just following the actors. Although I would say the camera work, the cut lasts about like 30 seconds from one cut to the next cut. That section, that chunk, whatever that technical word is for that chunk, yeah, that is like about 30 seconds. But within the 30 seconds, it's packed with a bunch of stuff happening on screen, a bunch of actors in tandem doing actions. And I appreciate that because it's like, it's hard to synchronize people. Oh man, it is so hard to synchronize people. Have you tried to synchronize with somebody? Uh, okay, try to synchronize somebody who's trying less harder than you. It's much more frustrating. So everybody had to be at the same, I want to do this really good level. They had to be at that same level together in order to pull, to, uh, pull this off. So I just really appreciate the effort. Personally, I'm not a big fan of slapstick humor. My comedy styles is more satire, dark comedy. Uh, I appreciate slapstick humor if there's a lot of good dialogue around it. There is a lot of good dialogue around this, a lot of memorable quotes. Not memorable enough for me to remember it, but <laughs> I don't remember anything. So I appreciate the acting. The, the, the comedy, and honest, there was a few moments where I did laugh. I was like, oh, that's honestly ridiculous. But I feel if there's more juxtaposition between some of the actions, like, oh, there's like a small action, right? And then a big old grand explosion action, like cause and effect, small action, big effect. I, I laughed at that more because it's like, oh my goodness, that's insane. That's like hyperbolic. That's the, the, that's, wow, I can't believe it. Oh, many words for that reaction. But you know what? I appreciate watching this. Even though it's not my type of humor, I still liked it. So I gotta give this movie a solid 6.5 out of 10. If you like this review, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer. So if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. If you'd like to request a movie in the comments below, you can do that. Or you can fast track a movie request at patreon.com slash Presents for $20 a month for one movie review per one month. Or $3 a month for the draw all the Pokemon in the Pokedex. Well, 151 for 2023, that's my goal. And early access to those how to draw Pokemon videos at patreon.com slash Presents. If you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of these movie reviews, go to this link tree. It really helps the daily grindiness of all these daily movie reviews. So go here. And until next time, I'm in Salad Saw. I'll see you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits.